Okay, radical equation. Uh, this is number seven equation. I copy again the equation. And remember the key idea is square. Is a square allow I can eliminate the fraction. Uh, eliminate the, the radical. Entonces two t minus one equal one to the second power is one. Two t is equal one plus one, que es two. One plus one is two. And divided by two both sides, t is equal to one. And this is the solution. And you must check. In the radical equations, mandatory checking. Looking at the original, two times one minus one should be one. It's obvious that two times one is two, minus one is one, is one root one is one, one equal one. It's true. Then the solution is perfect. The solution is t equal one. Okay, number nine. Uh, number nine is a little bit weird because the square root equal negative number. Mm -mm. This is not good. Square root always is positive numbers. I suppose there's no solution. No solution. I suppose, but let me try. Square root 3t plus 4, I copy again the equation. Square both sides. 3t plus 4 is equal to 36. Now solve for t. 3t is equal to 36 minus 4. 3t is equal to 32. Part by 3. t is equal 32 or 3. Uh, <coughs> it's possible simplification this. It's... Oh no, no. Leave it like that. Okay, the checking part. The checking part. It's a square root 3 times. 32 or 3 plus 4 should be equal to negative 6. Cancels out the 3. Square root 32 plus 4 is 36. And square root 36 is 6, is 6 is not equal. And that's it. You see? There's no solution. So say no solution. No solution. Is the answer. Or anti set. Que the same thing. Uh, this equation contains cube root. Cube root is nice. Cube root never. We get a strange solution. But this, it's exactly the same strategy. You isolate the the radical you give it both sides this is 1 minus 2x cancels out the cubic root and cubic and this is 27 this is minus 2x is equal 27 minus 1 minus 2x is equal 26 divided by negative 2 both sides x is equal minus 13 uh -huh. <coughs> I repeat again, when the index is odd, index, it's not necessary to check it. However, I want to check it at least one time. So it's Q root to make sure okay, the answer is correct. 1 minus 2 times negative 13 minus 3 must be equal to 0. This is cube root of 1 plus 26 minus 3 equal to 0. It's obvious that this is 27. And cube root 27 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. It's true. This solution is perfect. Okay, 13 is 4 root. This is exactly the same. I copy again. In this case, the index is even. And you must check in and you raise to the fourth power. It says 5x minus 4 equals 16. Go to the fourth power is 16. 5x is equal 16 plus 4 is 20. Divided by 5. The answer is 4. The checking. Mandatory checking when it's even. When it's even, mandatory checking, just in case. 
as four root of phi times four minus two minus four minus four minus four minus four should be equal to okay five times four is twenty twenty minus four is sixteen if four root sixteen yes it's two two equal two it's perfect it's true and the answer four is correct Fifth root is uh, 15 question have contained fifth root. Don't say it's Jacob again. And you raise to the fifth power. Uh -huh. I copy the expression inside the radical. Equal uh, negative 1 because negative 1 to the fifth power is negative 1. So x squared plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 in standard form. The solution obviously is, this is perfect square trinomial, is plus plus. The solution is x equal negative 1. And the checking is mandatory. No, no, in this case no, because it's all number. So no necessary checking, but just in case I want to check it. It's negative 1 to fifth root, negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 should be equal to negative 1 so the fifth root this is 1 positive minus 2 negative 1 and it's fifth root negative 1 is negative 1 okay, negative 1 is equal to negative 1 because fifth root is negative 1 5 times is negative 1 negative 1 is the answer ok 17 <coughs> 17 is again radical equation so see I copy again the equation in order to eliminate u square both sides this is x square and this is 64 and radical and a square cancels out is 64x and this is the quadratic equation let me write in standard form now the, the greater common factor is x, x minus 64 equal to 0, and we have the solution, 0 and 64. And we must check it, 1 by 1, check for x equals 0. As 0 should be equal a times radical 0, it's obvious it's true. It's obvious that 0 is perfect. And checking for x equals 64. Is 64 is equal a square root 64. 64 is equal a and square root 64 is a. And a times a is 64 is true also. Both solutions are perfect. Okay, 19. 19 is it's easy as uh, let me copy again 15 minus 2x equal x square both sides 15 minus 2x equal x to the second power the square of the equation let me write in standard form is x squared plus 2x minus 15 equal to 0 now by factoring. The combination is 5 and 3. Because 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 minus 3 is 2. And the signs are different. The bigger is positive, the other is negative. So one solution is negative 5. Another solution is positive 3. And you must check in both solutions. Okay, checking for negative 5. And the original, I plug it in the original. 15 minus 2 times negative 5 should be equal to negative 5. Square root 15, this is plus 10. This is 25. And the square root 25 is not negative 5, it's positive 5. This is false. 
the solution is wrong. And now checking for three. Let's see what happened. It's a square root fifteen minus two times three should be three. This is a square root fifteen minus six que es 9, el square root 9 es obvio que es 3, 3 igual 3, es true, la resolución es perfecta. La solución set for this equation es just 3. Ok, 21, I copy again. Uh, and you square both sides. Square here and square here. Is x to the second power is 4 times x minus 1. When you apply this three with the property, is 4x minus 4. And square out the equation is x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. And the factorization is, let's see what happens. The combination is 2 and 2 because 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 plus 2 is 4. Same sign, negative both. We have only one solution, guess 2. Let's check in the solution. Check in the solution and the region. Is 2 should be equal 2 times radical something. It's 2 minus 1. 2 is equal to 2 times. 2 minus 1 is 1, and radical 1 is 1. Then 2 equal 2. It's correct. It's true. It's perfect. The answer.